Did you get out of a game like today what you needed considering the back-to-back -back and three minutes and four days? Um, I just was happy the way we played. You know, I, uh, I respect how after I watched them play. You know, I got a call from Buzz Peterson. They, they beat Wilmington on the road. They play hard. They change defenses. You know, this, this is a good game for us. We, plus, you know, we played so, so good, I think, for about 10, 12 minutes, the end of the first half, and then into the second half that we got everybody in, involved, everybody got to play, and that's, that excites me. And we even had some fans here, you know, on a Sunday, a football game, a couple of them. I don't know if everybody knew we had a game today. That was, that was tremendous. Uh, but I, I was pleased that, I don't worry about back-to-backs, except when I like a pro team, we don't charge. Um, and travel yesterday was not easy, but you know these kids do it in AAU. They play three and four games in a day, so I think they're all right. Do you have them do anything unusual to try to get their legs back with a 24-hour turnaround and and a flight in the middle? No, not really. We uh, we didn't get up into the gym till one o'clock. You know. You know, a lot of our guys got to watch the women's team play, and you know that was exciting. You know, watching them play Louisville, they had a great first half. And we had that was a great crowd. I was I was pleased with that. Our guys, you know, they were ready to go. Um, you know, now tomorrow we got to be concerned. I think a little bit. Um, we've had a couple. You know, Nick and Nick have been banged up, but. Our depth has carried us all year, um, you know, and I think we've been real fortunate. We lose Yannick, but gave Ben a chance to play more. It's given, you know, Cannon a chance, and they've they've responded. So, you know, on Tuesday we'll, you know, hopefully have our legs and be ready to go. It's a conference game. You had a stretch in the second half where you had Cannon and Marcus in there together with the two bigs. Is that did you like enough of what you saw from that lineup that you'll use more of it going forward? If Cannon plays good, <laughs> plays like that. I mean, I like all our bigs. I you know, it's, uh, but Sean gives us something. You know, Marcus was on his way to twenty five and twenty five. You know, I but I. I've been on the other side of games like that and didn't think it was appropriate to put him back in the game. But Cannon was, Cannon was great. There was some highlight, you know, plays in that game, you know, and I liked the way we shared the ball. I liked the way we ran. Um, you know, Herman pointed out we had 18 assists, I think 27 field goals or something like that. That's, that's the way we like to play. but. Um, our bigs, you know, they move their feet pretty well, and depending on the matchups, you know, we're comfortable with any of them. Anything else? Nick Russell played 28 minutes tonight. Was was that one of your biggest priorities tonight, keeping minutes down because of the back-to-back? -back? I know you said the back-to-back -back doesn't concern you as much, but three and four games, or three and four days, was keeping minutes down one of your top priorities tonight? Well, South Florida, the minutes were kept down because they got in foul trouble so quickly. Um, but Nick Russell, he won the game tonight. You know, um, Upshore had a 38-point game, a 27-point game just recently, and I thought Nick guarded him great. Nick's, Nick's defended, you know, pretty darn good all year. The only time I take him out is you know, when he gets in foul trouble or if he needs a break, um, he never asked out. But I, you know, I didn't think about it. But when you get a lead like that, I, you know, I just was hopeful we'd have opportunities to play other people. And that that had afforded us that. I wasn't thinking about Tuesday at all. That's, Tuesday is Tuesday. Today was the most important game on our calendar.
Hofstra's coach said if there's a better defensive team in the country than your team, he'd like to see it. How pleased are you with the progress your defense has made so far? Well, when he told me before the game, and I, I really respect Joe, you, you know, um, he has Brian with him, and, you know, Brian, having Brian transfer was tough because everything that you want in a program that kid, you know, brought. But, um, you know, he, he's a tremendous coach. He, he had unbelievable success at Niagara. He's got some good kids waiting out. Um, you know, he's a basketball guy, so if he says something like that, that that's, that's really flattering. And I, you know, Tim said this last year, and I think I brought it up when we beat Utah. <coughs> You know, we shot like 30-some percent and beat a really good, you know, I thought a good Utah team. And we always said that should define our team, you know, when we should, can shoot a poor percentage and be in games. And I thought last year we were in most games because we defended. But this team's much better. Um, we're much deeper. We've got better athletes. Um, you know, our freshmen are picking it up real quickly. And, and maybe our best big defender has been hurt. So when he says that, that makes me feel good. But we still got a lot of room to improve in that area. But I think, I think we're all pleased with the progress we've been making. Okay, thank you. Thank you.